What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and in today's video we are back again with the RGT. Alright, so in the last video that you guys saw I ended up getting new wheels, new tires, some Wait, we'll wait for this bad boy. And uh, today, I wound up going, what is today anyway? Today's February the 28th, I believe. Um, so I ended up going to my local thrift store that I go to about once, twice a week, um, just to see what they have available and what they got. Well, today, I actually got kind of lucky and I picked something up for this guy. So as everybody knows, the RGT 124 scale V2 comes with this Land Rover body. And don't get me wrong, I love the Land Rover body. Um, it looks awesome. I absolutely love the way it looks with the roll cage, with the cage and everything on it, it looks absolutely stunning. But it is a Lexan body, as you guys can see, it is a Lexan body. I like the Lexan bodies just for the main fact that, you know, you go to roll over or something, if you have it um, protected on the inside with the shoe goo and the, um, and the tape, on the inside then you get some protection out of it if not then it's going to end up cracking so the one thing i like about it it is durable but today i wound up going to my local thrift store that i again like i said i go to about once or twice a week um just to see what they have i mean it's always good to go to a thrift store about once a day i mean once a week just for just to see what they have and today I got kind of lucky today I picked up this guy so as you guys can see this is a Toyota Tundra hard body and I picked this thing up for grand total of hopefully you guys can see it three dollars and 49 cents that I picked this up no remote which I don't care about because I'm putting this on the RGT chassis anyway. So I have been looking around for a hard body for the RGT and I just been looking and looking and looking. Everybody's going with the uh, 120 scale AMT bodies but uh, I kind of wanted something a little different. Um, I was looking into those hard bodies and they're, they're the AMT kits that they have that you can put together and everything that ends up being something like this, okay? It ends up being something like this that you end up building. So I was looking for one of those and uh, for the price that they're asking, eh, you know, it, it's nice. It's a nice kit with a hard body that you would end up putting on a 124 scale. But today, I think I hit the jackpot. So when I went out there today, I found, I saw this thing. This is a something or other. <laughs> it's, a, it's a remote control. I can tell you that. It's, it's definitely remote control. It has steering and everything so what I'm going what we're going to do now is we're going to open this bad boy up and we're going to check and see what is going to look like on the RGT so with that being said let's get on with it let's take this bad boy apart here and see if it'll fit on the RGT if I have to extend the lengths or shorten the length then I'm going to have to if not then guess what? We got lucky and we won't have to. But uh, I think we might have to extend the lengths on this thing. So let's get on with it. Take this thing apart. All right, so to take this thing apart, it looks like there's some 
Phillips screws that are in there that are here on the front and that should take off the body from this cheap little chassis that's on here. I just don't know if I have something that's going to be able to reach down there. Nope, I don't. Alright. So, go on ahead and start taking this body off of this little chassis here and we will dry fit it onto the RGT to see what it is going to look like. So, for all you guys that watched my last video, this video was actually supposed to be about the RGT going up and climbing that big boulder. But I got too excited with this body and I decided to just go on ahead and make a video to see if this body will fit onto the RGT chassis. And I did not measure or anything yet. I haven't done any calculations or anything. All right, so here we go. Try and get the antenna off here. All right. So this bad boy is off. Put these screws over here to the side. And here we go. This is the cheap little chassis that Tundra body came on. So let's move that over to the side there. Now let's grab this RGT. Let's grab this RGT. Take these body posts off. And let's see if I'm really hoping here, guys. I am really hoping that. I'm really hoping that the wheelbase is going to work on this RGT and I, I won't have to extend the lines or anything I'm that's that's something that I'm really hoping for um, I mean it's just something that I'm really hoping for so I'm going to put this down like this drop you guys down a little bit like so moment of truth guys Let's see if this works. Let's get this battery out because I don't want anything to get in the way of seeing how this thing is going to work. Oh, wait a minute. Do we have a winner? Yo. Guys. <laughs> you guys don't even know how excited I am right now. You guys don't even know how excited I am right now. So, I have been looking for a hard body for this RGT for a little while now. Either the RGT or the SEX24. I think I may have just found the body for the RGT guys. Uh, the wheelbase is a little, here we go. So the wheelbase is a little off, but it looks like it's right on the money. I mean, guys and ladies and gentlemen, uh, I mean, I think Right about there, where I'm kind of holding it at. Well, ah, keeps on slipping off because of the bumper. Um, let me see if I can get this bumper off. And try to get a good visual for you guys. Hmm. All right, so, <clears throat> so right about there is, boom, 
I want to lower it down some. Here, let me do this so you guys can see. So I definitely want to lower it down some, but guys, this, that's it. This is the body for this chassis. This is definitely the body for the chassis. I want to lower the body down on the chassis some more, but as you guys can see, look at that. The wheelbase is basically almost, almost, almost just the same. It looks like here, let me flip it upside down and see what this looks like. That's, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So here it is just sitting upside down. But as you guys can see, that body is the exact same length, almost the exact same length as the chassis. I am so excited. So what I'm going to do, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm actually going to do a little thing, something here. And um, I'm actually going to do a little something here. I'm going to take these bumpers off. Yeah, I'm actually going to take these bumpers off and uh, test out this body on there to see what it looks like. Cause I, I, I'm super excited. Let me let me go on ahead and do this. All right, so I wound up, um, as you guys can see, just moving the bumpers out of the way. Just took the screws off, and just moving them out of the way to see how this is going to work. Um, <laughs> again by the looks of it by the looks of it this body is going to work on here perfectly but um with removing the bumpers uh with removing the bumpers is actually we're actually going to be able to see how much lower this body is going to be i don't want this body sitting up too high from it um if i have to lift it up a little bit then i have the body post that i can actually modify and um do that but let's uh let's let's see what this looks like yeah all right all right so it is not too too bad it's big, centered on there it's definitely centered on the chassis um <laughs> it is not it does not look bad at all guys so even just removing the bumpers on here as you guys can see it look at that i am so excited I am so excited that this actually worked so if you guys hopefully you guys can see it here but on the front here the posts that hold the that the body held onto the chassis the old chassis is actually aligning it there and right uh, where is it right there so right here this post right there and on the other side right over here uh, let me move this <laughs> so uh, right there so that post right in here uh, right here you guys can see it right there that's actually letting me align the front. That's actually, sorry. That's actually letting me align the front of it so it's perfectly centered on the front, if you guys can see that right there. It's pretty much perfectly aligned on the front. So if you guys see right where, 
I'm trying to move this out of the way. So, you know, get some light and put that clear. So if you guys see where that little indent is on the bumper and where this pose is coming out for the bump, for the front bumper uh, right here, it basically centers it, as you guys can see there. And on the back, on the back, I'm going to have to center it. But that's pretty much it right there, guys. Look at that. Look at that. I like that a lot. That I can live with. Yeah, bring that back up. There we go. So, guys, that I can I can live with that. I can definitely live with that. Wow. I'm stooped. <laughs> I am actually stooped. I love the way this looks. Um so the back, I cannot lower the back any further unless I do like a cantilever setup or something on the back with the shocks. As you guys can see, the back is actually sitting right on there. So I cannot lift the rear any more than it is. I can't lift the rear anymore. I mean, drop the rear any more than it is. As you guys can see, it, it's hitting on the bottom there. The front is hitting something. I don't know what is. Oh, oh, oh. So the front, I can lower the front some more. But again, as you guys can see, the front bumper is hitting on top of these right here what i might wind up doing with that i'll end up removing these so the body can drop down a little bit further and it'll look good i like it yeah <laughs> i like it a lot i'm really liking this so i don't want to cut this i do not want to cut that off definitely don't um but i might have to so the reason I might have to is so these front pins right here that are holding on to this bumper that this bumper gets screwed into like so take that back off how, how am I going to put this so it's all one piece here as you guys can see uh, there we go alright so as you guys can see, all that from here all the way across this way, this is all one piece. And that one whole piece is actually going back. And that is part of the servo mount. That's part of what holds the servo. So I'm not going to be able to take this whole part off, this whole piece here. I'm not going to be able to take that part off and delete it because the servo, as you guys can see it right there, the servo is actually mounted on top of that piece there. So what, what I'm going to have to do to get this to work, as you guys saw, As you guys saw, this thing looks great on it. This thing absolutely looks great. I, I love the way it looks. Absolutely freaking love the way it looks right now. Um, I've always liked the Tundra bodies. I have always liked the Tundra bodies. And this right here just... Yeah. I like it. <laughs> I really like it. So, I mean, I could, I probably could put this bumper back on. And just have it look going around like that. What do you guys think? Hit me down in the comments below. What do you guys think? Should I leave this bumper on and probably cut should I leave the front bumper on and probably cut the body to get it to sit a little bit lower and leave this bumper on like so? 
or should I just delete this bumper altogether? Me personally, I'm thinking about just deleting the bumper altogether. And um, yeah, I'm really thinking about just deleting the bumper, guys. And just having the bumper off, leaving it off. That's, that's honestly what I am thinking about doing. Um, that's pretty much where I'm at with this. I think I want to leave the bumper off. But again, guys, girls, hit me down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Change the body to the Tundra body. To this Tundra, which I'm like in definitely, definitely in love with. I am definitely in love with this body. Um, or I could lift up the rear a little bit and have it leveled out with the front. I can drop the front. I think I like the rear where it's at. I'm definitely gonna have to do some cutting of the body in the rear, as you guys can see. So when I articulate, it's definitely gonna hit that body. So I might have to end up cutting it from around there, the door, and just cut it up. Cause that, that's, uh, I love hard bodies. I love the way hard bodies look on these. Uh, on any RC, really. I love the way they look, but there's consequences, man. Once they start rubbing, you have to start cutting. So I might end up lifting up the rear here so I don't have to cut as much. So I might just end up lifting up the rear a little bit to uh, and level it out with the front. So I don't have to cut as much in the back and I can get some more articulation. Because right now I'm not getting any articulation with this thing. Um, again, these tires, if you guys haven't seen my last video, these tires are the RC four wheel drive IROX. I believe they are the IROX. I have the thing over here somewhere. But uh, these are, I believe, the RC four wheel drive rock locks. I'm sorry, these are the rock locks. These tires seem, they feel awesome compared to the stock ones. Actually, the stock ones don't feel too bad, to be honest with you. <sighs> <laughs> Here we go. So, so the stock ones do not feel too bad. Um, the stock RGT tires do not feel bad at all compared to the RC4 wheel drive. They do seem like they have some stickiness to it. As you guys can see right here. RC four wheel drive wins on that. <laughs> um, RC four wheel drive definitely wins on that. Uh, the other thing that I'm gonna ask you guys to hit me down in the comments section below. So I recently also purchased. These wheels that I was going to put on the uh, C10. So I picked these things up. I got these that I was gonna put on the C10, but there's always a but, and everybody's got one. Um, but I kinda want your guys and girls' opinions on what I should do. Should I leave these on with the Tundra body? Put, leave these wheels on with the Tundra body or put these on the Tundra. I'm kind of on the fence. I really like these wheels for the Land Rover body. I really do. I really like these wheels for the Land Rover body. But I kind of think that these would look absolutely awesome with the Tundra body. Again, I just picked up this body and I am so in love with it. So in love with it. Um, I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think before I end up 
actually converting this body onto the RGT or converting the RGT to this body. I think <clears throat> since I think since the weather has gotten a little, a little better, it has warmed up a bit um, here in Philly, I am going to go ahead and conquer that boulder. Um, I'm going to go ahead and conquer that boulder with the weights like I have said I was going to do, but unfortunately I haven't been able to. But now, but now, since the weather has broken a little bit, it's not as cold. At least today it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't as cold today. I think I'm going to end up taking these guys out. RGT. The Gladiator. And again, the C10. I did put the washer weights on the front, like I said. Um... I think I want to take these guys out and I want to take it over to that boulder and see how they do. I hope that the RGT with the brass weights on the front, as you guys can see there, I did not put any brass weights on the back, nothing at all. I just put them on the front because I just want to end up climbing and literally I think it's like that steep with the boulder that is going to be climbing. Um, I think with the tires... The weights, I mean, I'm sorry, the wheels, the weights that it has, I think we're going to be able to climb up that bad boy. No issues, no problems at all. So, before I put this body, as you guys can see, this, this <laughs> nice hard, hard plastic. Um, so, I think before I end up putting this body on the RGT I'm going to leave the Land Rover body on take it over to the boulder shoot that see how it does before I end up converting this and that's more than likely what I'm going to wind up doing so with uh, that being said boys and girls ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching hope to see you guys in the next video Go hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet so you can end up getting some more content and I will see you guys in another video. You guys all have a good one. Keep our seeing.